What's up YouTube, it's Anderpone here, and I'm going to be going over Halo, uh, and no, not Halo the game, I'm talking about Halo, um, Paranoid Android ROM, or whatever, just the feature from Paranoid Android, and we're just going to be talking about how to use it, how it works, and just how it kind of improves the multitasking ability of Android, so let's get to it. Alright, so here's how you enable Halo, basically. You're going to go to your status bar, and you're going to click this little button right here. Um... That will enable it. Now it's on the side right here. I have it set to basically just kind of stay on the side and kind of disappear, fade away like that so it's not in my way. And you can do whatever you want. You can go back to using your phone. And then when you want to use it, click on it. And give it a second. Or a swipe out. And it will bring you the notification in a little box, little letter format kind of thing, you know. And then you can just use whatever. I just told her to send, my, send me an email. Well not so you're basically you can do anything. You can all the buttons down here, your your basic functions, those will apply to this little this little rectangle kind of app thing. This is the Halo notification. And if you want to get rid of a notification, you can go ahead and swipe up. And then if you want to mi minimize it, if you don't have the setting, like watch, give it a second. It will usually go like that, but then it will go even further down if you have it set to that. But if you want it to just go down by itself, just slide down. And if you want to move it, double tap it, double tap, and then move it around like that. And I'll show you the settings real quick, if I can get to it real quick. It is, I'm using, I'm not using a stock Paranoid ROM because they don't have it for this phone, but go to it real quick. It's, um, Halo right here, reverse Halo gestures. Um, that's that's simple. Um, hide Halo. That's what I'm, that's what I have enabled right now. So after you do anything, it'll hide it. It'll hide itself on the side again, which is um, really good. And then Halo policy. This kind of just you know blacklist, whitelist. That's simple stuff. I don't really use most of these except for that one. And then obviously it's on again. And when you have more than one notification, you'll actually get little tabs right here that'll pop out one, two, three, four, five, whatever. And you can slide between each notification just like this. I had more notifications I'll show you, but you can slide from notification to notification, and then once you stop, it'll open that, and then you can go back to it or whatever, and you can dis dismiss each notification by going up like that, or just hide it. Um, it is to kill it, or to get rid of it, you just double tap, move it to the garbage can up there. Then to re-enable it, just go ahead and go back to that, and then it'll be back right there. And that is pretty much it. That's pretty much how easy it is to use Halo. It's really intuitive. It really does it's easy to get used to, and it really does help you when you're trying to you're working on something, and you're playing a game or something, and you just use a notification over it, just pause the game, and just play. It is just a very simple and great little um, tweak or uh, add-on to a ROM. So yeah, go ahead and check it out. And I hope you like the video and subscribe for more videos.